Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we'll talk about types of fire extinguisher. So let's get started without wasting time. First of all, we will understand what is a fire extinguisher and how it works. A fire extinguisher is a handheld active fire protection device usually filled with a dry or wet chemical used to extinguish or control small fires, often in emergencies. It is not intended for use on an out-of-control fire, such as one which has reached the ceiling, endangers the user, that is, no escape route, smoke, explosion hazard, etc., or otherwise requires the equipment, personnel, resources, or expertise of a fire brigade. Typically, a fire extinguisher consists of a handheld cylindrical pressure vessel containing an agent that can be discharged to extinguish a fire. Fire extinguishers manufactured with non-cylindrical pressure vessels also exist but are less common. Now we will understand how it works. Fire extinguishers apply an agent that will cool burning heat, smother fuel, or remove oxygen so the fire cannot continue to burn. A portable fire extinguisher can quickly control a small fire if applied by an individual properly trained. Fire extinguishers are located throughout every building on campus. To properly use an extinguisher, you must first be familiar with the type of fire each extinguisher is rated for and how it operates. Now we will understand types and classes of fire. Class A fires are fires involving organic solids, like paper, wood, etc. Class B fires are fires involving flammable liquids. Class C fires are fires involving flammable gases. Class D fires are fires involving burning metals. Class F fires are fires involving fats such as used in deep fat fryers. Electrical fires, the letter E is not used. Instead, the symbol of an electric spark is displayed. Are fires caused by electrical equipment? Types of fire extinguishers. One water fire extinguishers. Water extinguishers are only used for Class A fires. Therefore, red-coated extinguishers can be used to tackle fires caused by ignited paper, wood, straw, coal, rubber, solid plastics, and soft furnishings. Water fire extinguishers work by spraying water from the spray nozzle, which helps to cover larger surface area. They are the simplest, most common, and least expensive type of extinguisher, two water mist extinguishers, the newest type of extinguisher. These very powerful but smaller devices exude an ultra-fine mist of microscopic tree, demineralized water particles. They are safe and effective to use on Class A, B, C, and F fires, making it unnecessary to supply more than one type of extinguisher in most premises. Some water mist extinguishers are also suitable for use on electrical fires on equipment up to 1,000 volts, such as computers and printers. Three water spray fire extinguishers, available in three and six liters. Water spray fire extinguishers are suitable to fires involving organic solid materials, such as wood, cloth, paper, plastics, or coal. Use on burning fat or oil, or on electrical appliances, is a big no-no. Four foam extinguishers. The foam smothers the fire in solids and liquids, class A and B, but not in burning fats or cooking oils, class F. So foam fire extinguishers are used on burning liquids such as petrol, paint, or turpentine. Five dry powder extinguishers. Powder fire extinguishers are used for fighting burning solids, liquids, and gases, class A, B, and C fires. Specialist powder extinguishers are designed to tackle type D fires involving combustible metals, such as lithium, magnesium, or aluminium. Six CO2 extinguishers. These contain only pressurized carbon dioxide gas and therefore leave no residue. Carbon dioxide, CO2, extinguishers are used on fires involving burning liquids, class B, and electrical fires, such as of large computer equipment, so are practical in offices. CO2 works by suffocating the fire and does not cause damage to the electrical items or cause the system to short circuit. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, please subscribe our channel and turn on notification bell. See you in next video. Stay tuned.